So hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Julia and I am so excited to be back here on the mat with you again today. And today the focal point is going to be the hips. So not only are we going to be increasing the range of motion that we have within the hip joints, we're also going to be releasing tension from this area. So if you spend a lot of the time seated like most of us do these days, or if you've just had some stress or any pent up tension, we're hopefully going to need that out in this very short sequence that we have together today. So with that being said, just start in a nice comfortable seated position here. And as always, take an inhale and roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, rolling down the back and close the eyes. Taking a moment here just to check in with your body. See if there's any parts of the body where you might be holding tension, but maybe you can soften in these areas. Sometimes we're holding some tension around the eyes and around the face and the jaw. Seeing if you can allow that to just rest. As if your skin is melting away from the bones, it's totally relaxed. Allowing that feeling of relaxation to flow all the way down, pulling the shoulder blades down the back, opening the chest. Maybe relaxing any holding that we have in the belly. Letting your legs feel nice and heavy and your arms resting, palms either face down or face up on the thighs. And then coming to our focal area for today, Seeing if you can release any tension, maybe you're holding the glutes here, the glute muscles. See if you can let that soften. And then feeling nice and relaxed here. Take a moment to see if there is something that during this class you would like to let go of today. So instead of an intention bringing something in, I would invite you to think of something you want to let go of. And we'll release that through today's class. So keeping that in mind here and then slowly starting to connect with the breath. We're going to inhale together for three. When you're ready, inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, and one. Inhale for four, three, two, and one, exhale for four, three, two, and one, inhale for five, four, three, two, and one, exhale for five, four, three, two, and one, and then inhale all the way to the top, and exhale, sigh out the mouth already starting to let go and then slowly blink the eyes open here and bring your hands behind you fingers pointing forward bring the soles of the feet onto the mat and then we're just going to bring the knees from one side to the other windshield wiping our legs already getting a really nice gentle opening in the hip joints here as we take some internal and external rotations Holding here, moving slowly with the breath. And then coming back to stillness. We'll come to a seated position here, but you're going to have your right foot in front of the left. So it's almost as if it's cross-legged, but you just pop that right foot a little bit further in front. And on an inhale, bring the arms up overhead, flexing the feet. And then exhale, folding over the legs. Now this is a really nice gentle hip opener here. Maybe you can already feel it in the glutes here. Flexing that right foot just to see if you can activate the stretch even more. And you can sway from side to side or take one more deep breath here in stillness. Inhale. Exhale, sigh out the mouth. Beautiful. Now walking your hands closer in towards the body, bring the soles of the feet down on the mat. Take one right, one left, and then we swap sides. This time the left foot is in front here, setting yourself up nice and tall, inhale, arms up, and exhale, folding over the legs. Breathing here, you can take those movements from side to side, 
or you can be in stillness. Taking one more deep inhale here. Exhale. And then slowly walking the hands back to meet the body again. And then we're going to cross over at the ankles and find our way into a child's position. So spreading the knees as wide as you would like, toes to touch, and bringing the seat to the heel and the forehead resting on the mat. Take two deep breaths here and see if with each exhale you can become heavier on the hips. Lengthening the lower back, opening the hips. Inhale here. Exhale. And then on an inhale, we're going to press into the hands and slowly lift the body all the way up. And then drop the hips down so the feet and the lower body stays just as it was before. The heels are touching. You can open the feet here. Drop the hips down. Open the chest. Feeling that nice stretch along the front of the hips and then exhale, coming all the way back into child's pose. Let's do that breath to movement here. So inhale, curling forward as if you're coming through cat position, dropping the hips down, opening the chest. And then exhale, peeling our way back to child's pose. Two more times, inhale, rolling forward, moving at the pace of your breath, opening the chest. Exhale, coming all the way back. Last one, inhale, rolling forward, and then staying here with the hips nice and low, and then see if you can straighten that right leg out, looking over your right shoulder. Bringing the right foot back, and then over to the left side. Bringing that foot back, opening the chest, inhale, and exhale, curling our way back to child's pose. And now you're just gonna peel yourself up and make our way into a tabletop position here on our hands and knees. Maybe take a couple rocks from side to side here, wag your tail, and then come into stillness. Now we're gonna take some hip openers on the right side here. So all we're gonna do is lift that right knee up off the mat and just make some circles in one direction. Trying to make sure that you activate your core here so you're not falling over to the left side. We're really activating the core so we stay nice and centered. Switching the direction if you haven't already and making your circles as wide or as small as you would like. Amazing, and then just slowly dropping that right knee down, sit the hips towards the heels and just take an interlace of the fingers so we can really loosen up and warm up the wrists here as we're gonna come back into tabletop. Shaking the hands out and make your way back into tabletop position. Other side, so activate the core here, lift the left knee up off the mat and just making those nice circles here in one direction and then switching the direction making them as big or as small as you'd like just like on the other side and then slowly dropping that left knee down tucking the toes under lift the knees up off the mat we're just going to hold here for three warming up the core warming up the shoulders two and one exhale push the hips up and back bending yourself into your first downward facing dog so as always, taking a moment here to just bend one knee at a time, shaking out the head, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, and doing whatever you need on your mat today to feel comfortable in this downward facing dog. Bending the knees, feeling the back body wake up here. Inhale here. And exhale, slowly coming back to stillness. And then on an inhale, we're gonna roll forward into a high plank position, holding here in plank. And exhale, bending the knees, pushing up and back to down dog. Inhale to roll forward, bringing a little bit of power into our flow. And exhale, hips go up and back. Last time, inhale, rolling forward into high plank. And exhale, bring the hips up and back, finding ourselves into our still downward facing dog. Now let's lift the right leg up off the mat, three-legged dog, and then bend the knee and open the hip. We'll take those hip circles again, so take three in one direction, as big or as small as you would like. And then switch in the direction when you're ready. Beautiful. And then slowly coming back to stillness into our three-legged dog. And then exhale, bend the knee and bring it across the body. Try and see if you can touch your right knee to your left elbow. Then bringing the leg back. And exhale, right knee to right elbow. Up and back. 
and then bringing the knee to nose and holding here before dropping the right foot in between the hands at the top of the mat and dropping the left knee down. On an inhale, we bring our arms up overhead and exhale, sitting the hips nice and low. Inhale here. And then exhale, bring the left hand down, right arm comes up, coming into our easy twist. And if you'd like a little extra hip opener, you can come onto the side, so the little knife's edge of your right foot, opening the hip and letting that knee fall out. Inhale here. And you can add a quad stretch if you'd like, bending the back leg and grabbing the back foot, either from the inside or the outside, wherever feels comfortable for you. Let's take one more deep breath here, inhale. Exhale. And then releasing that back foot if you were holding it and bring both hands but on the inside of the right leg this time. Toe heel your foot to the outside of the mat. And if you need any assistance on the left knee, you can always double up your mat or put a little blanket or a pillow underneath it. We're going to inhale here, open the chest, gaze up. And exhale, coming down into lizard pose, a beautiful deep hip opener here. So you can come onto the forearms or you're up on the hands or if you need any other help, you can also come up onto blocks. And wherever you are, if you want to make it even more intense, you can tuck the back toes under and lift the knee up off the mat. This is your practice today. It depends how you feel in your hips, how far you want to go, what you want to experience today. Let's take one more deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale again, sighing out the mouth. Letting go. And then slowly coming up onto the hands, all together. We're going to tuck the back toes under, lift the knee up off the mat. And when you're ready, use your core strength to bring that left foot out to the left side of the mat. So we're coming into Malasana. Dropping the hips down, making sure your toes are pointing out and heels inwards. Bringing the hands together, heart center, and the elbows inside the knees. Trying to push the legs open. Beautiful deep hip opener. Inhale here. Exhale, growing nice and tall, inhale, and exhale, beautiful, bringing the hands down, we're going to reverse that flow here and just step the right foot back, coming into our lizard lunge on this side. So seeing what you want to take here, either you stay up on the hands, you can make a cushion for the right knee this time, or coming down onto the forearms, and we'll hold here for a few breaths, again taking the option if you'd like, to lift the back knee up off the mat. Holding here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale to let go. And then slowly coming up onto the hands here. And we're gonna toe heel the foot in the way this time into the middle of the mat. And when you're ready, inhale, lift the arms up, coming into our low lunge. Inhale here, and exhale this time, drop the right hand down, opening out to the side with the left arm up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Inhale here, and option to come onto the knife edge of the left foot this time, opening the hip even more, and option to take the back leg and bend it, grabbing the foot. Inhale here, exhale. And then slowly release that back foot, squaring, so both hands squaring the front foot here. And then we're going to tuck the back toes under and lift all the way back into a three-legged dog, but this time with the left leg up in the air. Inhale here. And exhale, bring the left knee across the body to touch the right elbow. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring the knee towards the left elbow. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, and then step that left leg forward. So we're coming into one-legged pigeon pose on this side. Flexing the left foot, pressing the fingertips in towards the mat, and opening the chest on an inhale. And exhale, coming down into pigeon. You can rest your head onto your hands and breathe deeply into this glute area here. And we store a lot of tension in the glutes and in the hips. So really give yourself this time to enjoy, to let go and to soften. Maybe coming back to that intention again. Coming back to what you want to let go of today. 
and leaving this here on the mat. One more deep inhale. Exhale, sighing out the mouth. Beautiful. Coming up onto the hands, let's tuck those back, toes under, and lift up and back into downward facing dog. Take one breath here, maybe bending one knee at a time. Before we inhale, lift the right leg up off the mat and coming forward into one legged pigeon on this side. Flexing the right foot and pressing those fingertips in towards the mat as we inhale, open the chest. And exhale to come down into your pigeon on this side. Again, we'll take a couple breaths here as we really open up this side of the body and let go any tension stored here. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for the word let. And exhale to go. Beautiful. Slowly lifting your head up. Swing that left foot to meet the right. And we're just going to bring the soles of the feet down on the mat one last time and knock the knees from side to side. Oh, that feels really good now. And then bringing the soles of the feet together, let's take one last asana. Inhale to open the chest for butterfly pose, growing tall in the spine. And then exhale, folding over the leg. Allowing the chin to come towards the chest so you're really lengthening out the back of the neck. And take three deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Become heavier with each exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Beautiful. Slowly walking the hands in towards the body here and crossing over at the ankles, coming into a comfortable seated position. Take an inhale, we'll all bring our arms up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, palms touching, coming down through heart center, closing the eyes and bowing your chin towards your chest. Taking a moment of gratitude for showing up on the mat today for yourself, for your body for your breath. One last deep inhale together. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Release the hands onto the thighs and you can lift your head and slowly flutter your eyes open. Welcome back. I'm happy to have you here. I hope you're feeling really good in this area and actually all over the body. And I hope to see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.